bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Is this the first time we're meeting? On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. All right, let's be polite. Let's shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Right, so he's from an entirely different precinct. So we've come out of town to solve this case of the hanged man, maybe? You realize he's waiting for your name. I don't really know my name. Conceptualization, invent a name for yourself, or say nothing. Well, I mean, I have a high chance of passing it, so sure, why not? Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. So I can say nothing, I don't really know my name, or because I passed, it is not yet time. Yeah, let's be mysterious. Okay then. He processes the information, then disregards it. That's probably what someone would do, yeah. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Well, cafeteria manager. What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days. But you have been otherwise occupied. Hmm. So you mean him? Not towards the cafeteria manager? Just talk to him? No, I haven't. There must be some understand misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. Yes, I've spoken to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Yes, the police. I'm aware of it. I'm a policeman. What interviews I have? Yes, I haven't. So, Kitsuragi doesn't know that I don't remember that I'm a policeman. So, this is too suspicious and obvious. Uh, what interviews means I'm incompetent. I have is just an outright lie. I'm just going to say I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. We want to put up a, you know, a strong front to Kitsuragi. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? So that's... So if I decided to not talk to the woman at the top of the stairs, I wouldn't know that there's a dead body. So I've not moved it, so dead body. I don't like dead bodies. Look, man, you know, yeah, no, completely. Again, you know, I'm going to say, no, I haven't. I know there's a dead body, I haven't moved it. So the body is still in the tree. No, I didn't say that. I said I haven't removed it from the tree. It could have been moved, but just not by me. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How, you, how can you be so sure I'm from the police? I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do again? Let's get going then. Okay, so I'm missing information and we can get Kitsuragi be our reminder. I can't remember anything. This, I'm not really a police officer. He's not going to believe that. Like, we're meeting up with him to begin with. How can you be so sure I'm from the police? Yeah, I've not showed him any ID, actually. Let's see. He's asking for my precinct. How does he... It's because of the sleeves, isn't it? Right, so he knows I'm a police officer from the sleeves. Well, is that all it is? Like, he's got a badge on his portrait, so... How can you be so sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. He points to the jacket. That doesn't mean I'm from there, that just means I've got a jacket. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Okay, so he's not looking too hard into it. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the Rat Squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. Ah, you mean the Rat Squad or you mean internal affairs? 
These don't... I don't like both of these options. You mean internal affairs is he's just going to say, yes, I'm from internal affairs. Oh, you mean the rat squad. That implies that he would be someone that would snitch on people. But let's go with this. You mean the rat squad. No need for derogatory terms. They're only doing their job. Fair enough. Uh, you said insignia, these white rectangles you mean point to your sleeve. Okay, then. Again, this is letting him know a bit more that we don't know who we are, but it's important information for me as a player. Yes. They're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. Oh, so they have a map. Well, a pattern that resembles a map. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. Shouldn't I have a badge or something? Check your pockets. I already know I don't. You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. Okay, yeah, it's not on me. I don't have it. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay. Uh, what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? I can't remember anything. What are we supposed to do again? Let's go leave. So I'm doing this in a way that I'm kind of exploring all of the options available to me, but really that's not how people do conversations. It's you talk and you talk through a certain thing that has a logical conclusion, but that's it. This is me being a bit more video game. Uh, hello, Ivysaur. Did I come here from a goose raid? What made you want to play this game? So, hello! Thanks for joining, Ivysaur. How are you doing today? The thing that made me want to play this game is... I've heard a lot about it, and it's... I'm always drawn towards games that have a very strong narrative, but also the systems in play that affect how the narrative works. Like, for example, talking to Kitsuragi, having different options based on my skill attributes, is quite interesting to me and again I've never actually played a tabletop style RPG where you have skill checks and things like that so this is like my first you know attempt into playing something like that. okay uh, let's say what were we supposed to do again so we need to take down the body need to do the interviews is there anything else talk to the manager then we go out back and take the body down okay uh, I can't remember anything I can see you drank last night and the night before and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. Alright, Kitsuragi is uh, not judgmental. Hmm. Based on what you just said, you're going to love this game. I, I, I've heard a lot about it. And again, this game is three years old at this point. So this is me coming to uh, the party very, very late. But yes, I, I am excited to play it. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said... The dead body should be our number one concern. Okay. Uh, what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. Okay. Already, I'm kind of a bit suspicious about how this, uh, like, the local police squad, wo squad works. The body has been hanging from a tree for seven days and no one has taken it down even before I got here? That seems a bit suspicious. Uh, also, it seems like Kitsuragi is like the embodiment of non-judgmental. So I can just talk to him about anything, it seems like. So again, it's a bit more video gamey than actual real life, but this is good because obviously I'm going to be interacting with my partner more often than any other character in the game, so I like this. And then, soon after, dead bodies would be dangling from all the trees. But first, we have to take it down. Alright, let's go. After you, officer. So, we have a task to interview the manager and inspect the vi victim's body. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Okay. So if I interact with him again, it's just going to be the same text, yeah? Ah, tell me about the case. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. I want to talk about you. You seem to be following me. All right, tell me about the case. What do you want to know? Literally anything about it. I can't remember a single thing. 
Would you say it's a mysterious case? If from different precincts, why are we on the same case? Yeah, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. What do you mean? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. Why would I be in on the pissing competition? So, I don't remember being in on anything. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. Tell me about it. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Okay, so. Uh, yes, badge is miss missing. Interview the manager. The pissing competition. So there's a pissing match. Ask him about this after the inspection of the body's done. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, the game is telling me to do it after we inspect the body. Let it go. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Uh, would you say it's mysterious? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. I was thinking something otherworldly might be involved, you know, something supernatural. White male in his 40s, what more do you need? Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Okay, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? Okay, um, yeah, labor disputes are very mysterious. I feel like that's the angle to go with this. Then you are in luck, because we are in the midst of a major strike by the dock workers union. Maybe more than that. The union clearly wants a piece, not just of the industrial harbor, but the Wild Pines Corporation itself. And we have a dock worker that's sleeping on the bench. Is this a strike then, or the first shots in a worker's coup? You can say. I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used to the RCM's presence, and the union rarely overplays its hand, as it appears to have done in this case. So is this a strike or an attempted coup? Strike, coup, revolution, it's brigandage, however you parse it. Brigandage. You feel something. Rising through you, a familiar feeling, an opinion taken form. Ooh, an opinion. We should grind the workers into fine paste and feed them to the pigs. Okay, capitalism. We should grind the owners into fine paste and feed them to the pigs. Socialism. Oh, well, I guess communism, technically. With this little foreknowledge, I am unsure which side to grind into pigs feed. Decision must ferment in me, also nationalism. Okay. Both sides. I don't think ground, grounding one or the other side into pig's feed will do anyone any favors. I am really, really smart. I've spent the last 20 seconds deciding on which side to ground into pig feed. Why? Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so you can, like, I, I like how that's an option is you go through the, like, one, two, three, four, and then right at the very bottom, like, I've spent the last 20 seconds deciding. No. We should ground the owners into fine paste and feed them. To I don't like the way this has been translated. Assuming that it's not been English first. It should be, we should grind the workers into fine paste. Not, we should ground them. But, we should ground the owners into fine paste and feed them to the pig. When I said we have to navigate community matters, I did not mean we have any say in them. I meant we should be careful. If we are not, the shit will blow right in our faces. He makes a quick gesture towards his visage where the shit would blow. From an imaginary fan. Ah, yes. Now, was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Sure, anything. I can't remember a single thing. Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. A young woman told me a mercenary has been hanged, that's all. Then you are not that far behind, actually. Do you want me to brief you? Brief? Yes, that sounds good. Three days ago... The RCM Emergencies Desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags Hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. Yeah, it's already been there for four days. Then we turn up, but we're busy drinking, so we don't meet up with Kitsuragi. So that leads us to the last three. Okay. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching 
There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Does the briefing say who the victim was or who was the caller? No, it, we don't know who the caller was. The point of it is that it was anonymous. All right. Who was the victim? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. So no ID on them. All right. Who was the caller? find him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, all we know is that the token was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? Well, that's fine. I mean, you know, you don't necessarily want to be identified when you're calling in a, like a murder. There is a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Yeah, they're taking things into their own hands. So, hold on and the RCM is. Of course, I understand everything now. Let me make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer. I still don't understand anything. Okay. Uh, the RCM is? That's us. The Revachol Citizens Militia. We're the police in this city. Right, okay. So yeah, it's like uh, the Mafia taking things into their own hands, not involving the police. Alright. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizen Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. So, people expect us to have authority because we're part of the RCM. The, the city's occupied them. Okay. So, let's make this clear. Our job is to find the killer. That's right. Oh, secret task. Ask him to tell you about the case. Right, okay. Oh, well, fair enough. Talking to Kitsuragi is a good idea. Do you mean like a brief? Do you want me to brief uh, you? I can you? wing it. There's no reason to wing anything. If you didn't get the brief, that's okay. I did. Three days ago, the RCM emergency. During that time, the victim had been... Mega cool, I've heard weeks. enough. Okay, then. Was you mean like All right, a brief? Alright, so I, I didn't actually mean to do Three that. So During da, da, the da, security... Da. To find him, Call there's a strong prejudice against okay. involving the RCM. In I understand everything. There. Just to be clear, we are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. Okay. Good. I have what we need. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about Kitsuragi himself. Tell me about the case. No, let's not do that. I, I think you should know I can't remember anything. I think that's important for him to know. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it, believing it even. I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was heavy drinking involved. Well, I mean, he already knows that, but I guess it's good to reinforce it. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? What's wrong with personal affairs? What should I concentrate on? I'm completely lacking in basic information about even this organization we're in. Can you help me? Well, I know that now. I'm afraid this is a medical situation. Move on. Fine, let it be. What's wrong with personal affairs? Not a fan. It's just the nature of lieutenancy. Okay. He's not quite as empathetic as I thought he might be. The RCM deploys a self-styled structure called the Decomtage as its chain of command. Every lieutenant is responsible for two sergeants and eight officers. That means the average lieutenant has to deal with quite a few personal affairs. Even you know this. Okay, so he's got to deal with a team of 10 people underneath him on a regular basis. All right. So, what's wrong with personal Not affairs? The RCM okay, it was the same check. I'm like, what should I concentrate on? Try work. The case at hand. It can work miracles. Very direct and to the point. Okay. So, I guess we'll ask about the RCM. Fine. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then... I can give you an orientation. Okay, end of day debrief with Kim. Cool. I'm afraid it's a medical situation. Move on. Fine, let it be. Those are two... There's two actions of the same thing, but saying different things. Uh, not being able to remember everything is a medical situation, yes. Really? 
You look fine to me. I, he's performing triage. I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage here. I saw myself in the mirror and had no idea who I was. And again, I've invented a name, but not told him about it. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Sure. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire life. He can't fathom it, or he doesn't want to. It's not psychological. Some sort of major brain damage has occurred on an unprecedented scale. Yeah, we still, we know that the drinking has not been entirely our own fault. Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's lazarus. Was there anything else you wanted? So I can call the station's lazarus. Alright, I want to talk about you. Me? Yes, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We'll work better together if we have more rapport. Come on, Lieutenant, open up a little. You're right, what's there to know about a lame binoclad? I have no idea what that is. But, uh, we'll work better together if we have a rapport. Mm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Okay, you're wearing glasses. Thanks. You don't look like other people around here. Okay. Tell me a secret about yourself. That's a good point. That's an icebreaker. Do you ever talk with yourself? That's a little bit on the word side, but let's do the secret. No. Okay, guarded. Ask again. Oh, okay. Ask again. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. Okay, perception check. It's like you're locked down. Interesting. What's happening to me? Actually, it's not perception. It's motorix. Yes. Uh, what's happening to me? Something the matter, detective? Hmm. Huh. What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. Authority legendary. Okay. I don't think he's an average lieutenant. He has a very high authority stat for intimidating people. Interesting. Okay. Give up. There's nothing you can do. The lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem to regain control of yourself. Ah, oh, all right. More than meets the eye. Uh, you're wearing glasses. That's correct. Ooh, physical check? I don't like this. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this, but you can't quite muster enough testosterone. Right. Uh, so, me saying you're wearing glasses, and him responding to me with a yes is a prompt for me to get physical with him yeah to flex on him yeah okay fair enough um no i don't glasses are cool i guess just observing mm, no i don't what glasses are cool i guess are they they are mostly just cumbersome all right, what's That's the other correct. option out of this? Uh, like just urge. observing. I guess you don't need glasses, then. That's right. You don't like, like other people around That's here. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. What's Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. So this should be an encyclopedia check. Seol is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. I guess it's not interesting then. You're only making it sound uninteresting. I still want to know more about Seol. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Eva Chalier. He's almost proud of it. Okay. Uh, yes, intellect check. A point of pride to him. Hmm. Well, yes. He said he... It's, okay. Never mind. Do you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking. Do you ever have conversations with like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. 
Intellect check. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. Yeah, conceptualization. Well, being art in the world. Uh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. How do you, you know, tap this out of your head? You're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or warnings or anything. So this is like hinting to him about we're hearing voices in our head. So he could be like, you hear voices in your head that aren't your own? So how do you, you know? What? Think? I do most of my work inside my notebook. Okay, so he's one person to write it down. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. We all have our different mediums. His is written. Fair enough. Uh, let's go the other angle what with the brain. Mean? I have no idea. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills. Your brain never chimes in. I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. The lieutenant so, same outcome. We all have our different all right, that's all for now. Good. Let's change the subject. You seem to be following me. Excuse me? What if I want to work this case alone? Beat it, you're cramping my style. Nothing, just an observation. What if I want to work alone? Detective, if I may be frank, you seem to be in a deranged state. You have trouble remembering things. You've misplaced your badge. I cannot let you act in the name of the RCM without supervision until you've regained control of your faculties. I know what the RCM is. What if I need some me time? I mean, that's a, whew, a wink and a nod, but... Um... This is just reinforcing stuff that we already know now. Yeah, what if I need some me time? Some you time? This is a police investigation, not a journey of self-discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. Okay, I'll leave the self-care for non-work hours. Sounds good. All right, non-work hours. Please do. We wouldn't want your regimen to spill over into the investigation. What are you trying to imply? The lieutenant is pretty sure self-care is just a euphemism for Nihilistic binge drinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me? Uh, an observation? You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. What do you mean distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. The Jamrock Shuffle? How's that? They say it's a scene clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic yet thorough. Prioritizes okay. containers. check. Yes, but containers contain things, shiny things. They're interesting. You're kidding me. Why containers? Okay then. That's racist. I don't prioritize containers. Okay. Why containers? I don't know. Containers contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. I mean, that's the same thing that the, the voice me? in my head was saying. You have a... Observation? I hope you don't take... They say How's that? A... Yes. But uh, that's racist. Contain. I don't prioritize containers. I'm sure you don't. It's just a stupid interdepartmental thing. I'm making assumptions. Excuse me? Alright, beat it, you're cramping my style. Frankly, detective, you're in a deranged state. Deranged state? I know what I the RCM is. That's good. <laughs> I can just say it again. Some you time? This is a police investigation, not a journey okay. of self-discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. On second thought, maybe I need someone to cramp my style every now and then. You might. It's important not to let one style interfere with their work. The lieutenant is pretty sure style is just a euphemism for nihilistic binge drinking. Style and self-care are euphemisms? Okay. Excuse me? Alright, so what if I want to work alone? I, may be I know what the RCM awesome is, Some what if I need time? time? Sounds good. A moment passes. The lieutenant Alright, I think we've exhausted- actually no, this is still- What stuff do you here. want to know? Uh, I have all I good. need. Okay, yeah, everything's done. Right, let's leave. 